Peace to everybody, back with another video. This is Jussie Smollett cites protests and legal battle claims police misconduct is covered up in refusal to give docs. So Jussie Smollett is citing the protests and legal battle of a um of a hoax that the police are accusing him of of last year. They said that um Jussie Smollett had took it and faked his own attack and I don't believe it one bit because Jesse Smollett is an actor he was on Empire until they um until Lee Daniels decided well he's not gonna that they were not gonna bring him back anymore for the rest of the um season of um Empire and of course you know Empire has en ended after six long years Jesse Smollett, who has been fighting the city of Chicago's $130,000 lawsuit over the cost of an investigation into what officials allege was a hoax attack on himself, is now turning the ties on the city's police force. Yes, so Jesse he's, has been fighting the city of Chicago's $130,000 lawsuit over the cost of an investigation into what officials alleged was a hoax attack on himself. Now, why would Jesse Smollett attack himself when there are two people that attacked him and the police was not around, so they did not see what happened, but there are cameras around where he was walking at. But now, is now turning the tides on his city's police force, and so now it's turning the tides on them. In court documents filed by the former Empire Star on Friday and obtained by Fox News on Monday, Smollett made an attempt to use the ongoing worldwide protests against police brutality and systematic ra racial injustice to point to questions he had in his own case, specifically the ousting of police superintendent Eddie Johnson last year. Smollett said he deserved an explanation into Johnson's exit since the former top cop was involved in Smollett's case since very early on. Yes, yeah, so the court documents, they were filed on Friday, last week Friday, and they were obtained by Fox News Monday, which is yesterday. Um, Smollett made an attempt to use the ongoing worldwide protests against police brutality so he's making a protest for the police brutality um and systematic racial injustice to point into questions he had on his own case so they so the police were covering up and said well Jesse Smollett faked his own attack we don't care what he does so we're just going to cover it up so that's what the police did um, of course, Eddie, Superintendent Eddie Johnson got fired last year because even though he was had like, I think, a couple of weeks left to retire, but instead he got fired, so now he's no longer with the police in Chicago. Smollett said he deserved an explanation as to Johnson's exit since the former top cop was involved in Smollett's case since very early on so yeah so he wants to know what happened with um superintendent eddie johnson um and like i say he got fired by the man fired last year as we see millions across the country rise up to protest and expose police misconduct the city by its refusal to produce the requested documents, is choosing to actively resist a citizen's lawful efforts to reveal dishonesty directly relating to the charges against him throughout the department, including the police superintendent, who ever saw, oversaw and publicly commented on the investigation of Smollett's report of a various hate crime and assault read the Smollett motion to have the city produce documents into Johnson's firing. So yeah, there's millions across the country right now. They are rise up to protest and expose 
police misconduct because you know the police they cover everything up and they know the truth but they just switch the truth into a lie um this is why people are tired of the police brutality um and they are not taking it anymore because people are getting killed every day and it's mostly the white people it is it's mostly them um but these but the city of Chicago, though, the police, we all know it's a murder capital. We all know that because of the gangs, the drugs, and everything else that goes on over there. Um, and, and, of course, Mr. Smollett's report of a vicious hate crime and assault read the Smollett motion to have the city produce documents into Johnson's firing. But he does have a right to have the documents. He does have a right to them because they... And these and the um courts or, or not the courts the police department is refusing to let him see it. How can they? They cannot do this. So indeed, the city's op opposition opposition. I'm sorry to those motions to compel puts the cart before the horse and largely fails to appreciate that this case remains in the discovery phrase. The filing continued. Allegations are not proven facts, but the city improperly assumes that it has already proven that Mr. Smollett made false statements to the CPD. How could he admit, how could Jesse Smollett make false allegations or make false statements? They knew what was going on because Miss because Jussie was sitting there f making police reports about what happened that night in last year in January, January twenty ninth of twenty nineteen. So how can Jussie Smollett make false statements if he's over there talking to the police about what happened? Think about it. And, of course, it says allegations are not proven facts. But it, the city properly assumes that it has already proven that Mr. Smollett made false statements to the CPD. See, so, yeah, this is what I mean. The crooked police department. It's corrupt. And every time you tell the police the truth, they're going to go and lie about and cover it up and put some false claims on there. This is why you can't trust them. Investigators in Chicago said Smollett lied about the alleged racist and homophobic attack against him in January 2019. Since then, officials have fought the push from Smollett's team to release documents surrounding Johnson's firing. Yes, yeah, so investigators in Chicago said Smollett lied about the alleged racist and homophobic attacks. Oh, excuse me, but Jussie Smollett is openly gay he came out with that statement hello do the police not know that um against him in january 29th since then officials have fought the push from smollett's team to release documents oh so his team got the documents surrounding johnson's firing why should they why should smollett's team push for to release documents. Why? Why should they? They they don't have no rights to it. Jesse Smollett did nothing wrong. He was allegedly attacked. And the police are saying, well, he made false statements. Excuse me? Uh, Chicago PD, where, where are you getting these sources from if Jesse Smollett is sitting there making police reports? Smollett's legal team also maintained in the recent filing that the city went through the trouble of disparaging Mr. Smollett by characterizing his discovery request as attempting to muddy the waters some three times in, in its opposition and added that it is iconic that, among other things, the city interjected and attacked and attached a letter from Small Mr. Smollett's counsel in the prior criminal matter, which has no bearing on the instant motion. So yeah, so there was a letter 
attached to the documents of Mr. By, for Mr. Smollett's counsel in the prior criminal matter. So now, who knows what's on that letter? Smollett's legal team also maintained in the recent filing that the city went through the trouble of disparaging Mr. Smollett by criticizing his discovery request. So they were criticizing mm -hmm. Jussie Smollett for um, making these false statements when Jussie Smollett's been telling the truth the whole time, even though I know he's an actor. As you can see, here is the picture of Rahm Emanuel, who is no longer mayor of Chicago, Superintendent Eddie Johnson, who has been fired. I don't know who these other people are, but they are behind him as well. But this is what it was before the firing and, and at, before the mayor of Chicago left. In its efforts, Smollett claims the city of Chicago conspicuously omits the role of individuals at CPD that concluded that Mr. Smollett allegedly made false statements to the CPD. He further claims that the city relatedly stated Smollett is on trial, not Eddie Johnson, as a premise to uh, oppose the motion to compel the city and properly seeks to narrow the scope of discoverable information. So now Smollett, now they're saying in its effort, Smollett claimed the city of Chicago conspiracy omits the role of individuals that at CPD that included that Mr. Smollett allegedly made false statements uh, to the CPD. Uh, no, he did it because um, he's sitting there telling them everything. I, you can't make this up. You cannot make up a police report. The only way it gets switched around is because of the Chicago Police Department. They put out the false statements themselves to make it look like Jussie Smollett did it. In January 2019, Smollett claimed that he, that he an openly gay black man, was attacked in Chicago by two masked men who beat him, tied a rope around his neck, and taunted him with racist and homophobic slurs. Yes, yeah, so um, this happened in January of 2019, last year. Um, Smollett claimed that he, an openly gay black man, was attacked in Chicago by two masked men, which are the Osandario brothers, um, who beat him, tied a rope around his neck, and taunted him with racist and homophobic slurs. So that's what happened. And of course, when the body camera footage came out, it showed the rope around his neck. So I know he didn't do it himself. If he's being attacked by two people, how can he put a rope around his own neck? Chicago police later said the attack was staged and Smollett was charged with making a false report. Those original charges of this quickly were dropped in March 2019 with little explanation from prosecutors anger, an, angering police officials and then Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Well, they have the uh, uh. Smollett's team does have does have a right to have his charges dropped. And that's what Kim Fox did. Kim Fox uh, team did. Uh, dropped the charges. Did she know about it? I doubt it because she was too busy um, going emailing and text messaging back and forth with one of Smollett's family members. So how could she have known? And of course everybody was uh, jumping on her for saying, oh well you should have handled the case better. Blah blah blah. How is it her fault if she didn't know if she's sitting over here emailing one of Smollett's family members and texting with them? Huh? Excuse me? 
The 37-year-old actor and recording artist was indicted by a grand jury on six counts of disorderly conduct this past February, so they got him indicted on the um, six counts of disorderly conduct. Really? You think that's going to stand up in court? Come on. And it was done this fr past February. The city has demanded the actor reimbursed the police department of, for the $130,000 spent on investigating the alleged attack as well as other costs that reportedly tolerated or totaled, I'm sorry, close to $500,000. Holy smoke. And this is what they want out of him. Uh, excuse me, but um, Jesse's not going to pay that kind of money. When he when his bail was set, he forfeited the $10,000 to the city of Chicago. He also did two days of community service. That's all he did was two days of it. Now they still want, now they still want $130,000 out of him and not, and more money on top of that. And it was close to $500,000. Seriously? Come on, Justin is not going to pay that kind of money. Smollett has maintained his innocence since the alleged attack was first reported last year. So yeah, so Jesse Smollett is maintaining his innocence because he knows himself that he didn't do nothing wrong, and that um, and that these two gentlemen, which are the old Sandario brothers. They were responsible for it, and that's why he told the police that um that they have done it. But the police are saying, "No, this guy is making this stuff up. We're just gonna put a false statement that he made." Excuse me, police don't know everything. Police was not there at the time of the attack, allegedly. So how can he have done this to himself if he's, um, how can he have done this to himself when the two gentlemen did it, are the ones that have did it? Think about it. Leave your comments below. I am out.